when the people talking to me are just facing him or her, but but my eyes try to look at different things. Yeah, actually, I'm not focusing on the person that I'm talking with. I'm actually scanning the environment with my eyeball, observing the whole scene of the environment, but not focusing on one or two things. I can discover something that other people can't. I always don't feel safe. I feel a kind of fear for me to live in this environment. So I started to scan the environment that I'm inside. To discover the environment gives me a kind of feeling of safety. Hong Kong people's evaluation of Beijing's performance has consistently been good. Beijing has truly honored the agreement. They, they could be quite mean to their own people in mainland. Uh, there's no democracy over there and they're still not letting us to have democracy, but neither did the British. In 1997, I was interviewed by Newsweek and I made this comment about the future of Hong Kong. And I said, I would rather be devoured by a tiger than eaten alive by worms. We didn't see any tiger, but I do feel worms everywhere. So there's a kind of cultural invasion. It's hard to pin down, but you can feel it and see it all the time. Celebration parties, national anthem before news at six, and subtle changes in school, the increased use of slogans, the way the police handle the demonstrations. During the British day, they didn't have that kind of stuff. So there is this kind of cultural dimension. I cannot pin it down in a very really detailed and specific way. But you can feel it. Those are the worms that I was talking about. But this is probably the, the most terrifying way of invasion. <laughs> <laughs>